Today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. And I really like using Epidemic Sound, but more on them shortly. Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikToks. A really great way to show off your product photography, photography in general, or anything else like that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it with some really great effects in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and get started straight away. Okay, here we are, we're in Canva, and to create a video in Canva or to create a reel, you might want to think about coming over and you might think about creating an Instagram story, but what you want to do is actually click the Instagram Reels option. So if you clicked on the story, if you click audio, and it's gonna click and just give you this one amount of audio. Whereas if you click the video option, that's gonna give you this other video option here where you can add extra sections down the bottom and you can add multiple audio if you wanted to we're just going to be using one audio track in this video but if you want to look at how you can add multiple audio in canva i'll put a link down below to another video that i've done about adding multiple audio to canva in order to kind of have something that's kind of funky you can use the audio in canva which comes from epidemic sound however i personally prefer to go and find my music in epidemic sound and a couple of things i really like about using it separately in epidemic sound so this is the track that i found here so i'm just going to play this and you can kind of like feel the funky beat and as you can click through, you can then find, you know, it's really easy to kind of like click through different sections. So this is the section that we're going to be, I'm going to pause that. This is the section that we're going to be using. I really like this section. And what I can also do in Epidemic Sound is I can find similar clips. So I can come in and I can say, well, actually, I really like that particular section. So if I just drag that in here. So I like that particular section. And now I can come down and it's gonna give me similar tracks or similar, similar areas where I can, or similar tracks where I can find similar sounding tracks. Does that even make sense to you? Hopefully it does. I can also click on find similar tracks here, but Let's dive into Canva. The track that I've chosen to use is this one. It's called Keep Going by Katiso. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. So what I like to do is I like to come in and I'll upload the video or the audio. So you just come to the upload section here in Canva, click on the audio section, and it's this one here that I've uploaded. And all I do to add it is I can just click it and it adds it to the section here. What we need to do now, this is just one big long track with one kind of timeline if you like. If you do video editing it's kind of just one kind of timeline and what we want to do is to be able to chop that up and then to add some effects to each of the clips. What I like to do is it come down, you'll see that I'm quite zoomed in here, this is only a seven second clip and the way I've done that is down here in the corner you click between these two and it'll change either you, the, how zoomed in you are on your timeline or how zoomed in you are on your actual canvas area. Now what I like to do is I come in and I actually look at where the audio track is spiking. By zooming in so far you can see where the kind of like almost like where the beat is and all we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to right click and split the clip and you can adjust this afterwards. I can come in and I can change that afterwards so I can split the clip and then adjust it. I can either do it here or I can come up here and I can adjust the timing. And if I want all pages to be five seconds long, I can just click change the timing here and add five seconds. So if I was doing that and it was a regular beat every half a second, that'd be a really easy way to do it is you just come up here, change the timing and then click apply to all pages. As I say, I get my music from Epidemic Sound, I really like Epidemic Sound. And what I'm gonna do is put a link down below to a 30 day trial for you to try in Epidemic Sound and just have a play about with it. They've also now launched a mobile app that you can use on your phone that's both on Apple and on Android. So you can use the Apple or the app on your phone and kind of find music on the go and whilst you're out and about, which I find really useful and really helpful. When it comes to refining the clip and seeing where your clips are gonna be, before you start adding your images or your product images or your transitions or your effects or anything else like that, the easiest way I find is to actually change each of the pages. So let's dive into Canva and I'll show you. What I do is I change each of the pages 
to a different colour. So it's almost like adding a photograph. I've not quite got to the stage of where I want to add the photograph. This is where I'm still playing about to make sure that my timing is correct, the length of the actual screens is correct, because then it helps with being able to see it. So if I then click this, you can see... It's, you can see where the screen's pulsing or changing colour. Now, once I've done that and I'm happy with the actual timing of the music and everything else like that, the next thing you want to do is you want to come in and you'll start adding your elements or your your photographs. So I'm going to come over to photos. I'm just going to use some stock photos. And these are some of the stock photos that I've recently used. So let's look at this first one. So how are we going to do this? We can just click and we can click replace background. We can click on this one and just set image as the background. And we'll just easily go through and just set each of these images as the background. So now I've added an image to each of the kind of like the sections, if you like, or each of the kind of like canvases. You can see, as I play them, you know, that's nice, but we want to add a little bit more of a dynamic feeling to them. So let's take this first one here. We're going to leave this set as the background, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a copy of this image over the top. I'm going to drag it all the way, not quite to the edge, because otherwise it'll kind of just snap and replace to the background. I'm going to leave a little bit of a border. And you're not going to notice, as this is a transition, you're not really going to notice. And then what we're going to do, rather than adding a transition in between, we're actually going to come up and we're actually going to animate. So I'm going to choose pop. Now, when you're choosing to add the animations to the video, you only want it to happen on enter. You don't want to kind of add it to pop off again because the clip or the time between each of the clips is so short it's just going to look a bit of a mess i would say so we're going to do that for each of these so we're going to come over to our photos and we're going to add the same photo so i'm going to just add the photo on and all you do is as i say just drag it on leave it almost to the edge position it in the center so you've got a little bit of a border on the edge. Highlight the image, come over to animate, and you might want to choose pop. You might want to choose breathe in or out, and you can change the how fast that is. You know, all these different options. I, my favorite one is pop on enter. That's my favorite one. And you just go through adding each of the layers or adding another version of the layers or the photos. And that's when you then end up getting this. And I think you'll agree that kind of like adding that and then downloading that as an MP4 is a really great way to kind of show off your products or your photographs to some funky music. As I say, there's a 30 day trial of Epidemic Sound down in the description below. Give that a go. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any questions. If you like this video, make sure you click like, subscribe, do all that jazz. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.